Hi guys, it is Natalie, the One True Diamond, coming at you with my D2S 366. This is my day 138. Today is May the 17th, and yeah, I'm coming on to do my um, daily accountability video for my working out for 25 minutes. Of course, y'all already know what I did. Treadmill. <laughs> What I seem to have been doing lately is like I'm stuck on that, okay? I want that I need to research and find a power cord. Sometimes my elliptical will come on with that power cord and sometimes it won't. And I am so sure that that is the right power cord. I cannot find another one, so I'm thinking that is it. I can't figure out why it's not working, so I need to research online and see if I can order it from Amazon. Excuse me. A new power cord for that particular model um yeah so i can get back on the elliptical um and i mean you could do it manual but it just seems like it's not taking you through it's not making it tighter or whatever you know when you want i don't know it just don't seem like it's right when i don't when i do it without it actually functioning and showing me what i'm doing and starting the programs where it's like sometimes you're walking on heels and sometimes you're walking flat surfaces or whatever anyway it just don't seem right so i need to get the power cord and it seems like it make it work properly um but um again this is my day 138 and i'm not gonna stay on long i know i say that every single morning but today i really am not gonna stay on long let me go ahead and show y'all my stats um 26 minutes 34 seconds 2701 steps 1.09 miles 142 was my average heart rate and I, I could tell that this morning too i did not feel good when i started out i almost i'm like lord just please help me to um be able to make it through this workout i felt terrible and i feel swollen i feel bloated and Ugh, I hate that feeling. Ugh, and my max was 180. I burnt 299 calories. Let me show y'all that. Okay, so yeah. So that's done. Okay. and today is may oops may the 17th okay so that's done and down and um i will talk a tad bit about yesterday as far as meeting goals and i did not track good i did track some and i need to go back and put a few more things in from the end of the day it was terrible i need to find something i don't know what it is it's like the end of the day I feel terribly munchy but I'm I am very proud of myself because yesterday I wanted to stop to the store to get something else on the ride home I had a banana and a halo in my bag okay on the way out the door oh yeah I need to track those Let me put it down before I forget on the way out the door I um I put, I got a pack of graham crackers from the job. I ate that, and I ate my banana. And I didn't want the halo orange. And I'm like, that should sustain me, but it didn't. So then I drank my water, which was yay me. I drank a whole bottle of water on the way home, and I didn't stop to the grocery store because I knew if I stopped, um, I wanted to get some of the Sara Lee um, Delightful Bread. Um, yeah, but I did not stop because I knew if I stopped to that store, I would get something that was not healthy. So I kept on driving and I kept on just trying to focus on other things on the ride home and not think so much about food. And then when I got home, I started cooking dinner and then I said, okay, I can't take this anymore. I got to have something and something and something. I don't know why I felt so ravenous. So I, instead of getting a piece of fruit that I could have got, I started eating crackers and crackers and crackers and until I ate a whole sleeve 
throughout, this is throughout the night, not at the same time. I ate some of them, then I ate dinner, and then as I sat here, I was looking and scrolling the internet, and I was like, okay, <laughs> here I go again. I just went on and got them, and I finished up that whole sleeve of crackers, and then I got to chocolate that in, which means what? I am into my weeklies. I don't want to be in my weeklies, so... I'm thinking I'm going to be in my weeklies. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I need some type of meal that is going to be fulfilling. And I need to go back and look at what I was doing at the beginning. Because I swear to you, I was feeling filled and not even wanting to eat. And I still had points left over. Don't y'all remember when I first started out? I was like worried about not eating enough points. Or that if I didn't eat enough points, I wouldn't lose good weight. And now, it's like I can't keep my points you know it's like huh so i need to go back and look at what i was eating then and see what the difference is i don't think i'm eating anything any different but i guess i need to go check and go back to that very first one and two week and look at that and look at what i ate for the day and see if i can retract that to get myself back on track because I am totally off track and it is so hard that once you get off after that week of not counting points or tracking points it just seems so hard to get back on track so yeah but I got to find a way to pick myself back up and that's what I'm going to work on that's what I'm working on this week I'm trying to stay focused with it um, I know Weight Watchers work if you work it I've seen it work for folks it just seems like I just can't, <laughs> I can't seem to stay, um, I don't want to say motivated, but on task with writing stuff down. It's just like, I can't, whew, I don't know, but it's just been tough with tracking and trying to keep up with it and trying to stay focused on these points and making sure I only do proper um, point intake because some things that I want is just so high in points and I let it go and go and go until it's to the point of where it's like I sabotage myself <laughs> when I don't give in I actually sabotage myself so yeah so um so anyway um I'm gonna get off here for now so that I can go um eat breakfast and get ready for um and get ready for work but i will talk to you guys later i am on my day 138 whatever day you are on you make it the best day that you can possibly make it keep pushing keep moving it is a journey it is a lifestyle change and it ain't easy <laughs> by no means but i'm here to just tell you be honest with you it's just this is how it is so yeah we just keep trying to adapt and adjust and make the plans and do what we need to do so anywho you guys i'm going to get off here i'll talk with you later bye